In news overnight, somebody got out an angle grinder and cut the William Crowther statue off at the ankles. It's now lying face down in some autumn leaves in the park at Hobart's Franklin Square. Oh, it's disgusting. I'm appalled. I don't think that the measures were taken to protect the statue. That man was a racist man. The majority realised that that statue has no place in history. William Crowther was Tasmania's premier for a short period during the late 19th century. But, also a doctor, he was better known for breaking into a morgue and stealing the skull of Tasmanian Aboriginal man William Lanny, with the intention of sending it to the Royal College of Surgeons in London. This was a cause of outrage in the Hobart community once it became known that Crowther was able to do such a thing, which many uh, citizens of the time regarded as immoral. In 2021, the statue was temporarily transformed into an artwork to paint a more complete picture of Tasmania's past. And after that, the Hobart City Council voted to remove it altogether. The decision was appealed earlier this year. And only hours after the statue was cut down, that appeal was defeated, meaning it was going to come down anyway. But clearly, somebody wasn't willing to wait. The Tasmanian Aboriginal Centre's Nala Mansell says while she doesn't endorse what happened, there's now an opportunity to move on. The Hobart City Council have saved a lot of money now by not, and a lot of processes. Uh, the statue's been removed. Now let's look at uh, what, what the next statue is that needs to be removed. But Hobart City Councillor Louise Elliott doesn't agree. This is a community asset. This is disgusting what's happened. I found out from this by the Crowther's great-great-granddaughter in tears ringing me. That's how I found out. But what else did they have to say about it? Oh, it's just pure devastation. Um, Crowther did a lot of good things. 